Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a dashboard in your HubSpot CRM system. So once you log into your HubSpot CRM system, of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to create a new dashboard, what we need to do is head over to the reports tab up the top left hand corner here, use the drop down arrow and then just go to dashboards. Now, as you can see here, HubSpot provide a variety of different dashboards and these are all really useful, so it's definitely worth checking out. But if you'd like to create your own dashboard, what we need to do is press the blank dashboard button. We then need to give our dashboard a name. In this instance, I'm just gonna call it test. And then we need to decide who can have access to this dashboard. So it can either be private, open to everyone who has the capacity to view and edit or just view only. I'd recommend do view only as you don't want other people changing your dashboards but it's entirely up to you. Once you've done that, press create dashboard button. This will then load the new dashboard where we can add a variety of different components. Now, in order to add new components, we need to press the add reports to this dashboard. If you've got existing reports that you'd like to add, then you can do, but usually from the analytics library is where I go to. So press from the analytics library, and then from here, we can see all of the different components that HubSpot have for us inside of the HubSpot CRM system. And we can do this for ads, calls, companies, contacts, all the different aspects of HubSpot CRM. Now in this instance, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to add something from contacts. So we'll press the contacts button, and then you can see all the different components that sit under contacts. Now, I wanna add all the contact created totals by source, so this is gonna show us where all the contacts are being created from. In order to do this, just press save report. And then on the right hand side here, we can then change the name if we'd like to. I'm not going to in this instance. And then we can select whether we're adding this to the dashboard, which of course we do want to be doing, and then which da a dashboard we'd like to add it to. I'd like to add it to the dashboard we've just created, or we can add it to a new dashboard. Then we just press the save and add button and that will load our dashboard that will load that component into the dashboard now we can go ahead and continue to select different components for our dashboard if we'd like to another good one is deals if we head over to the deals area and then we can see total de uh, deals total by stage save report and then again we need to select what we need to do but like I said, you can have any component you'd like, so feel free to work through all of the different options and find what's most applicable for your new dashboard. Once you've made your selections, go to the top left-hand corner where it says back to dashboard, press that, and then as you can see, we've got our two new components. We can, if we'd like to, shape them and change them to suit sizes, and we can just drag and drop by using that, the dotted, by, dotted arrow down the bottom right-hand side here. Um, we can also use filters and views, and I've gone over how to use filters in another video, but we can just go through all of these different options, date property, date range, and compared to if we'd like to, and we can do a variety of different things with those filters. Now I'm gonna click out of that, and then again, the same applies for our deals, total by stage, and if I had any deal records inside of the HubSpot CRM system, they would all be appearing, and again, we can use our filters and other various aspects to modify our dashboard. I'm gonna cl click out of that. And that is how to create a dashboard in your HubSpot CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to create a dashboard in your HubSpot CRM system. If you have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.